You held it down, vice versa. Made me wanna write verses. Think I met the right person. Honestly, she's light worth it. Never mind, she real worth it. I'm digging her like a field surgeon. Hey guys, I have decided to start a new series. I don't know what to call it yet, so comment down below. What I wanted to do was just sit down with some artists and rappers and just pick their brain a little bit. Figure out how they write, how they record, little tips and tricks that they can give me as well as you guys. And today we're going to start with our first guest. His name is Victor, aka Vic Hayes. He is a fairly new friend of mine who makes really great music. He raps and he sings, so I thought he would be the perfect person to start with so that you guys can get both perspectives behind the scenes. Just to let you know, his music will be playing throughout the whole video as well as the next part, which is part two. So if you guys want to know which song is which, I do put the order of them in the description below. There were a couple of mishaps, a couple of glitches, a little bit of an audio change in part two. I will note that in part two when it comes up. Also, I'm not sure how I ignored this the entire time, but pretty much the mouse got into most of the video. I apologize if it's distracting. It was a little distracting for me watching it back. I'm sorry, I will get better throughout time. Next person, hopefully we'll have some new editing skills and stuff. This was my first time doing this, so if you have any tips, go ahead and comment down below. I'd love to hear some. But like I said, there will be some audio changes and a little bit of glitching. I'm assuming because my device was either dying or low on battery or his was so that's really probably what caused it so without further ado let me stop prolonging this process and enjoy the video hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Delilah if you're new here and today we're doing something really really fun I don't know if I look nervous but I feel nervous I don't know why I'm nervous because Victor is very very nice but uh I'm nervous, I don't know why. We're about to interview Victor. I have a bunch of questions for him. I'm excited for you guys to meet him, yay! Okay, so first of all, how do you want me to call you throughout the video? Your real name, <laughs> your artist name? Most definitely my artist name, Vic Hayes. I might throw in a, you know, Hazy Baby. Let's go into the first question. So tell us about yourself, and other than being a musician, what do you enjoy? I am from Cincinnati, Ohio, born and raised. I'm a Pisces. I mean, I have a pretty normal life, you know. I enjoy playing video games. I did a lot of sports, even though I don't really watch sports. <laughs> Literally, like I did basketball, t-ball, soccer. Were you good at them? <laughs> Questionable, okay. I was, I was somewhat good at football. Somewhat. I played football too. I managed, but nah, sports, it, it, it's just not for me. I've been singing since... Oof. been a while though. When I was five, I was always singing this one song. Uh, I know people don't really like R. Kelly right now. I don't either. But um, <laughs> I Believe I Can Fly was like the song I always used to sing. I think because it came from my, one of my favorite movies at the time, Space Jam. <laughs> nice. Classic. What do I enjoy other than you know, music? Spending time with family, making money any, any way I can legally. I don't think I've announced this publicly, but I'm kind of working on a book series. Writing a book? Yes. Okay, yes. I love I, it. I, I, I love I've, it. Since I want to say, ooh, probably all the way from elementary on, I've always liked writing stories. Like, I always came up with my own stories. There were times where I didn't have internet at the house. Like, I would still be on the computer. I'd just be on Microsoft Word, just coming up with anything I can think of. Made stories about monsters, superheroes, all that kind of stuff the dramas, all that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, that stuff I've written, I, I'm never gonna put out, because you know, that's just, that's just little stuff I wrote when I was a kid. Right now, I'm working on like a series, uh, book series. It's gonna be superhero based, but it's not gonna be like a comic book or anything. It's gonna be more so drama, but still with superheroes and, you know, have some dark humor as well. You know, I'm gonna add in every little thing. It's not gonna be for kids either. <laughs> okay, are you drawing it or there's cartoons? Nothing? It's... Strictly book, got you book but it's gonna be enjoyable like you're gonna you're gonna want to keep reading it like the storyline that i have in my head that i've been formulating like for years to come like it's it's amazing i promise oh that's nice i'm excited are you gonna have a physical that, copy or just online it'll most definitely it can most definitely <laughs> be physical they um do something like put it on amazon or something like that have it shipped you know Something like that. I probably will still have it available as an ebook as well. Technology. I know I'm asking like way in advance, so like, you know, you can always change your mind. It's cool. You're not, you know, down. Hey, I still have to sit down and keep writing it. I just have so much, you know, on my plate right now. And then I'm still trying to finish the album, of course. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> I know that was a later question, but it's okay. It's okay. What is your music genre and what inspired your artist name? 
Most definitely R&B. I would definitely say it's R&B. More so modern R&B, not really old school, but I try to kind of give a little bit of old school vibes. Try to. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how I'm doing. You think I'm doing okay? I think you're doing great. I am. That's all. <laughs> I, I love old school R&B. Also rap, hip hop. Most definitely hip hop. You know, when it comes to the rap and it, sometimes when it, when it comes to the singing too. I'm most definitely R&B and rap. I may experiment with other genres, reggae maybe, dance hall, that type of thing. Are you going to go know. into British drill like Drake or nah? <laughs> oh, no. UK no, drill? No, I'm not. <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm not British and I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what Drake got going on with that. I mean, he kills it. Don't get me wrong. Like, he still be snapping. But like, I'm just like, bro, that's not your style though. What you doing? <laughs> but shout out to Drake though, you know. Just, just in case he watches this video, I'm sure he's a fan of Delilah. Of course. I mean, another amazing artist, by the way, y'all. For real. Whole vibe, I swear. And she got bars. <laughs> you haven't I, heard anything recent. People be saying that, but nobody heard anything recent, and it pisses me off. But I'm gonna get there. It's gonna come out definitely this year, so I can't go wrong. 2021 is full of opportunities. Let's, let's get them. 100%. Bad Habits and then Panthers Freestyle are, are top notch. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're like one of a few people that actually said that about bad habits. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I, I really love bad habits. That's the thing. Everybody's saying Panther Freestyle, Panther Freestyle. Like, that's like their favorite off the track. But I really expected it to be bad habits. I actually thought Panther Freestyle was going to be the worst. <laughs> really? That's crazy yes. how it doesn't work out the way we think. That's crazy. Cra right. Right. <laughs> SoundCloud, even even though it's more so independent artists and all that other stuff. You need some good shit on there. Like. True. There's stuff on SoundCloud that isn't on YouTube and definitely not on Apple Music. Like old stuff, like Frank Ocean. You can't find his music anywhere these days. Like they deleted that shit off of everywhere. But on SoundCloud, there's still like very bad versions of his song. So what inspired your artist name? It's crazy. So like my name, of course, Vic is short for Victor. Mm -hmm. The way I like stylized it with the capital K. The capital K actually goes back to like one of my original stage names because I went through a whole series of stage names. I'm gonna list them, but I'm gonna give you the first one. The first one was Vic with a K. Vic with a K, just Vic? V I C K. Okay. Right? With a, it'll be like W I T A. Oh. And then K, instead of having it just be the letter, I'll say K A Y. It's like, you know, that type of shit. <laughs> That's interesting. I was like in sixth grade when I came up with that, like Vic with a K. I didn't know if I wanted to do music yet or not. Like, I was just kind of like coming up with names. Cause I mean, if I wanted to be an entertainer, most entertainers have a name regardless of what they do. Vic with a K, capitalize that K is to kind of emphasize that it's spelled with a K. <laughs> Cause most people spell Vic, just V-I-C. If they want to say like short for Victor, mm -hmm. V-I-C, including my father who I'm named after. I kind of just added the K at the end in a way kind of differentiate myself from my father because I know a lot of people compare me to my father. That inspired the big part, of course. Hayes is not my government last name. One is my mother's maiden name and it's basically my family name. Hayes is it's my mom's side of the family. I find myself really dependent on Hayes just because that's really the side of my family that raised me more so. My mom, that's a Hayes. My grandmother, she's a Hayes. My aunt, Hayes. They've been the people that have been there for me. Of course, I kind of spell Hayes differently. I put a Greek letter at the end, <laughs> which is kind of a pain in the in the neck because whenever I try to look it up, it, it never pops up because of that Greek letter. I'm glad no, I'm you not. know that. I definitely yeah, was yeah, no, like, I'm glad it. you know that. I knew it before you even said it. <laughs> I, I hate it. I hate it completely. That's what the Greek letter is, y'all. Sigma. I am a uh, proud brother of Five <laughs> Better Fraternity Incorporated. Founded January 9th, 1914 on the campus of Howard University. Of course, I didn't go to Howard. I went to Clark Atlanta University. Side chapter. <laughs> That's really, really cool. The amount of commitment that you need for that shit. Yep, I can imagine. Back to like the haze thing. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is just make it an S eventually. No, why? But, oh no, but it's so oh no. unique. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> the posters, like on the post, like on the cover art, it's still gonna be a sigma. I feel like if I want people to actually find the shit without just, you know, having a link, because I can't give everybody a link. True. <laughs> that is very true. I'm trying to make it easier on people. But like I said, on the cover art, it's still gonna be, it's still gonna have the sigma on it. I'm still gonna have that stylized on anybody's cover art. What artists help shape you and your music style? 
other than whatever I heard on the radio, whatever my mom had in her CD box, to be honest. When I first decided I wanted to do music, I knew I wanted to be a singer because I had the voice. Mm -hmm. But I wanted it to kind of be like more so rap based. Kind of like what rappers are doing now, except not trash, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Not all melodic rappers are bad, but you know, the select few. I ain't gonna name no name. My mom had tried to get me to listen to more R&B so that I can kind of like train my voice in a way. I was like, no, I don't like R&B. It's too slow. It's always about girls. I, would you believe I was saying all this shit? <laughs> and then hear what I'm putting out, like it's crazy. <laughs> and she was like, better listen to it if you want to get better in it. My mom had a lot of old school joints. She had almost all R. Kelly's albums. I know people don't like R. Kelly, but come on, he used to kick on R&B. Let's just be real. A lot of the artists that are out right now get their sound and are inspired by R. Kelly. You Are Not Alone by Michael Jackson. That's written and produced by R. Kelly. Fun fact. Uh, Jamie Foxx is comfortable. Never done Unpredictable. <laughs> That's what's called. Listen to that whole album. Loved it. Drew Hill, Jacket Edge. Let's see what else. I'm trying to think. I can't remember everything. Oh, Justin Timberlake. Hell yeah. You got a lot of soul for a white boy. <laughs> <laughs> for real. You know, Usher, Anthony Hamilton. Of course, Chris Brown. I'm totally team breezy, not gonna lie. That's probably like one of my biggest inspirations, actually. Most definitely. Trey songs, of course. As far as rapping is concerned, Kanye, Jay-Z, Tupac, of course, Biggie, J. Cole, Kendrick. He need to drop another album. For real. I'm waiting. Let's see. Ooh, I got a lot. I got a lot of rap. Drake, especially older Drake. I like I like new Drake right now, but he yeah. I mean, you feel me, right? I'm trying to get to that point where anything I put out is just gonna go number one. <laughs> My songs are gonna be high quality no matter where I'm at in life, even if I'm like, you know, on Drake's level, I don't care. You're going to hear some good shit out of me. That's, shit, that's how I feel. I feel like after a while, they just run out of shit. Like, they just don't live life anymore, I guess, and they don't have anything to write about. So it's just the same yeah. shit, just in different forms at some point. And I'm like, damn, if I'm bored with life and I have nothing to write about, I got to take a vacation, write about something new then. I don't know. Like, I can't sit here and write about... But that's what I've been doing, writing about the same shit over and over right. again for months. I can't. I'm in a writer's block, which hopefully you can help me out with when you answer, you know, how you fix yours. I got you. I keep laughing. I'm not nervous. It's just, I laugh all the time. <laughs> me too. I'm the same way. I laugh when I'm nervous and when I'm not nervous. I'm a little nervous. I don't really know why. I was telling Marcus the same thing. I'm like, I'm nervous, but I know I'm like basically hosting the damn thing. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I, I was. I'm a little nervous now, but not Delilah. as much. Delilah, you're doing a great job. Just want to let you know that. Thank you. Uh, you don't have to be nervous around me. Like, what, we're like the same age. What, you 23? I'm 23? Yeah. Like, come on. We're, we're basically... I don't know, friends. I don't know. <laughs> right, do you consider me a friend? Am I a friend? I do consider you a friend, yes. <laughs> I feel like when I ask you invasive questions and you answer them, like there's just that's just friendship at that point because you wouldn't answer like if you didn't trust me with that type of information and I low key did ask you some invasive questions, so You did. <laughs> and um I did, you know, notice that, but I was like, I mean, like, nobody really asked me that many I mean they don't really ask questions like that mm -hmm. and just the fact that you were even interested in knowing I was kind of like oh well that's nice <laughs> when did you release your first track Whew. okay the first track I released is actually not available anywhere anymore it's called intoxicated this was the first song that I recorded like my own song or whatever in the stu it was in the studio in my school's library basically That's it was cool do you have it can i listen to it oh you do not want to hear it no okay i respect it <laughs> first like yeah it was in the school's library and basically when i recorded it i kind of rushed it mm -hmm. you know like sometimes when the process of recording you just kind of record the chorus and probably copy and paste sometimes or you might do the chorus over you never know mm -hmm. it just depends on how you feel it and then, you know, you do the verses, right? I mean, you record the verses, you do them separately. No, that's not what I did. Basically, I just sang through the whole thing, one take. Was it a freestyle or did you write it first? I wrote it. It's an R&B song, by the way. Okay. I was just so off. Like, it sounded so flat. I went with it because the dude that was helping me record it, he was like, yeah, this shit heat. This shit heat. <laughs> and and we, we went around the library kind of showing just random people we don't know, like, 
what they think. And they was like, oh, that's a banger. You know, oh, that, yeah, you know all that. Wait, I'm like, and you oh, said how old were you? Oh, this was when I was in college. Okay. I, I was 19. It was in 2016. I was, I just got done with my freshman year. That's when I released it. Everybody was hyping it up. So I was like, you know, maybe it's going to be, it's going to be it. It's going to be it, you know? <laughs> When he finally got done, you know, mixing and mastering it, he said to me, and me personally, when I heard it, I didn't like it. <laughs> like, I did not like it at all. But I was kind of like, well, shit, I want to put out some music. <laughs> Made a cover, put it on SoundCloud. And I was just Vic at the time. I didn't have Hayes yet. It was just Vic. I had this group of friends from my job. They were kind of mean this one summer. And they clowned me on it. Yeah. They're still my friends, but they don't do that as much anymore because... They know I don't play. No shade to my friends. If they watch this, I'm not really, I'm just playing. <laughs> that was my song. It just, I just, oof. No, I had to take that off. Basically, I kind of promote my song All Right as my first song I put out because I don't want anything to do with Intoxicated anymore. However, I am making a new version of it. I'm not going to lie. Um, Intoxicated 2021 is going to be on the, the project. That I'm working on. You hear me? You hear me? It may have a feature. You never know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. How many songs have you released since the Intoxicated song? I have released, I mean, if we're counting just the songs that I, on my EP and then just eight songs. I have eight songs out right now. So, All Right, which was just a standalone single. Three songs from my R&B EP, How I Feel, Get Away, Sweet Tooth. And four songs from my rap EP. It was first year, Panther Freestyle, Bad Habits, and Me Cole. Yep, so eight songs. Dang, I have a lot of songs out now. That's more than I've ever imagined. <laughs> I've wanted to do it for so long. Like, I literally went through a whole college career without putting any music out, except Intoxicated, but it don't really count. And then All Right, of course All Right, but you know. I didn't have any more studio time after that. So, so in thinking. your college library, it was just like its own studio or you made your own space? It was a room and literally had a studio mic and a laptop. It was a horrible studio. Nobody really liked recording in there. It was just kind of like the last option mm -hmm. for whoever wanted to be there. People booked the studio a lot, but it's kind of like that's just all they, that's all they had for real. Even though there's probably plenty of studios in Atlanta. Actually, there's most definitely hella studios in Atlanta. It's Atlanta. <laughs> Do you feel your singing has improved since, you know, your first few songs? And if so, what helped? What have you done to perfect it? Yes, my singing has improved, most definitely. <laughs> I mean, it was great. No, no, don't get me wrong. Like, I've always been a good singer. Mm -hmm. But, like, over the years, I feel like I'm starting to, like, just adapt the modern sound of, of music right now. I'm starting to adapt to just... My voice is adapting, like I'm, I'm able to do more with it mm -hmm. than I was originally able to before. What helped, a lot of training. Um, I considered singing in the university choir is like one of my few training sessions. Of course, singing other people's songs, that helped. I forgot what that thing is. It's called, I think we call it sirens, where we kind of like, Woo! with our voice kind of just like, kind of projecting, like clearing your, your throat. Mm -hmm. Drink lots of water. Lots of water. That's something I definitely need to do. I don't do you it enough. Got, you, you gotta drink a lot of water. Tea helps. I love tea. Tea with the lemon. I love lemon, so it's fine. Oh, sweet. Perfect. Okay. you be okay. You're putting me tea, on, okay. Any hot drink, really. But I mean, tea, tea works the best. So what is your favorite song that you ever released so far? Tell us why, and then the story behind it. And then tell us if your new 2021 music will top it. That is a tough question, for real. I got like three of them. <laughs> like I said before, Bad Habits. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites. Uh, Get Away. I think that's like everybody's second favorite other than How I Feel. Everybody loves How I Feel. So Bad Habits, Get Away, and of course, Nicole. That tops like the other two. <laughs> the story behind Nicole is based on the true story. <laughs> that's probably one of my most personal songs. It's typical, you get into a relationship, it doesn't work out. That's basically what happened. We got into a relationship. This was actually my first relationship. And it was recent, too. We were together for about four months. COVID really kind of messed some things up. I had the beat before we officially broke up. And I knew I wanted to write about her. I didn't want to just call it Ride With Me. <laughs> ride With Me, 
That was the name of the beat. When you sent it to me, I'm like, that's not the melody I was talking about. Why are you taking that shit away from yourself? I was dead ass talking about your melodies and not her melody. <laughs> Oh, uh, I thought you were impressed with the chorus. I mean, you I mean, of course, great. that's the whole song. But like the all the extra stuff you added to it was great. Of course, it down, vice versa, make me wanna write me. Mm -hmm. that part. <laughs> it just kind of flowed, you know. Like I was just kind of like when I was writing it. Like it took, it was so hard writing it because I really didn't know how to how to start it off. Try to freestyle some shit i don't really know how to freestyle but sometimes it works <laughs> it just wasn't coming out and now it's funny because i was dead ass like i really don't know how to approach this and i was like take your time with me how do i approach this i still stuck with you stuck literally that's the like, <laughs> i was like Oh shit, hold on. Uh, how do I approach this? How do I get you to notice? How do I go by the next couple months without getting caught up in emotions? Before I met you, I was hopeless. That when I met you, I was focused. We were once like perfect strangers. Now it feels like we're the closest. You the dopest. That's how I know the book writing is gonna work out for you because your songwriting is already, you know, top notch. Thank you so much. Do <laughs> you think that the new music in this year is gonna top Nicole? Oh, listen, let me tell you something. Each song back to back is gonna be better than the other. You feel me? Like nice. Nicole came out before the whole rap EP came out. You already know the songs on there. They, mm -hmm. they fire already. Next song after that. He. Song after that. He. 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 It's, it's just gonna. You like it when you see. <laughs> Yo, you know what really gets me mad when people say, "Oh yeah, my album, you don't skip no songs," and then I dead ass save half the album, the other half I don't listen to. I don't want it. I hate when that happens because for me, like, I'm gonna be really picky. For me, like, I'm gonna release probably on SoundCloud the songs I'm not really feeling, and then the rest is gonna be fire after fire after fire. You know, like, it has to be that way. And if it doesn't sound that way, then somebody, somebody fucked up. See, now you got me nervous because I don't want you, I don't want to drop my album where you be like, damn, Victor, I really expected each and every song to be heat, but it was this one that was lacking. I probably got to preview some of the songs you haven't heard yet just to make sure you, you like them. Like, cause if you like them, I know the fuck this shit going to be fire. <laughs> Wait, so when is the um song that you just recently sent me going to drop? I know it's not your song, but what's up with it? Like, what's good? <laughs> I love that song so much. That is, it's called Best Thing. It's my homie Damon's song. Damon was the feature on First Year. That was one of my favorite verses also. Yeah, I think he, he got real personal with it. Yeah, he's about to put that song out. Originally, it was just going to be him and the other guy. It's another guy on the song. You go by the name of Gooby. So there's three of you on the song? Yes. Okay. And I'm the last verse. It was just going to be those two because my mic had, had went out. At first, I was like, I'm not going to record it. He kept sending me, like, just little snippets of what he got so far. And I was just like, bro. I got to get on this? <laughs> oh, D, I said, I got to get on this shit. Like, I don't care if I got to use my earphones. You going to get a verse out of me. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. They absolutely loved it. Both of them. Like, I sent it to him. He was like, why every time you get on the song, you just got to freak shit? Like, what's going on? What you doing? Like, <laughs> shout out to Damon. He also uh, edits my songs, by the way. But yeah, I can't wait for that song to come out. But I'm so ready. Be ready. It's a good. It's a vibe. It's a real vibe. I don't know if you touched on this a little bit, but what should we expect from you in the new year? Well, I am going to release my full length project, my first full length project this year. I want to say in the summertime. I was going to release it in December, but I am working on more stuff with it, thinking about adding more songs. It, I was originally going to do like 15 songs, but I might I might end up doing 20. Give people more of a variety of just what the case is, you know? Expect some good, some good shit coming out, y'all. I promise you, I promise you. I try my best to put out good shit, so just tune in, and I hope you guys will, will not be disappointed. You know what? You won't be disappointed. There you go. They won't be, they won't. They really won't be. They won't. So what is your favorite feature that you've done so far and why? Like, I'm featured on somebody else's. Mm -hmm. It's this song called Crowns by Damon. He did this, like, kind of, like, old school sounded hip-hop type of song. And he said, Vic, I want you to hop on this. And he did a verse. Just like that, I wrote my verse. And I sent it right back to him. What do you enjoy more, rapping or singing? Oof. I'm really curious myself. 
Drum roll, please. Singing. I love singing so much. I always viewed like singing is my passion and rapping is my hobby. Because it's something I can do, but is it like always my go-to? No, because I like to I like to be melodic. And I can be melodic and rap, but you can't be that same level of melodic. <laughs> How do you feel about mixing rapping. them up? Like doing a little bit of singing and then rap. I mean, you know, I've, I've done it. You know, Bad Habits, I kind of was doing it. Well, not kind of, I really was doing it Bad Habits. First year, I kind of was doing it. What is your writing process like? And what is your favorite part about writing or recording music? I have a lot of different writing processes. Um, <laughs> one of them, Smoke Me a Blunt, or two, or three. Play some instrumentals. I come up with my melodies based off what the instrumental sounds like, but I don't like copy the exact sound of the instrumental. But I always make sure like any melody I come up with fits the instrumental. Sometimes I come up with the melody before I come up with the words. I have like a whole bunch of voice memos on my phone where I'm just kind of like, I try to think back just based off of my experiences, mostly to do with girls. <laughs> Got too many stories about girls. I like to tell stories. That's probably why I'm trying to write a book. <laughs> I have to be in a really calm environment. You told me you were writing some stuff at work, so it must be a calm environment then over there. I mean... <laughs> I feel like in that sense, it's not calm, but it's like I kind of like I get into my own head in a way to distract myself from the bullshit that's happening at work. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So like I was telling you before, with like Panther Freestyle, that's just me like in my own head while I'm working. I'm ahead of this shit like a turbo. Oh, that shit's on fire. Let me break that down. And that's just how that goes. I'm ahead of this shit like the tip of my dick that's embraced by the grip of her lips. Fuck what you say, gotta get to the pay. Give a fuck about fame, boy, I'd rather be rich. As far as coming up with flows, I really don't know how I do that. <laughs> like, if I hear a beat, I kind of just like, I experiment with what sounds appropriate for the beat. So like with Bad Habits, I come with like a, a little quick flow. A quick flow, especially that second verse. I got a lot of shit going on, but the weed is loud and my drink is strong. I don't got a single worry in the world. I be ashing my blood while I'm thrashing your girl. I don't give fuck no more. Taking a shot, more smoke. Gotta be at work in the morning. I'ma fuck around on show. How do you speak so clearly when you rap so quickly? <laughs> like, I have a problem. I slur almost all of my words together. No, for real, I, I do still slur. I still slur when I do it, but like... I don't know, I've always been told I, I talk really proper. <laughs> or white. I was blessed with the juice cause I'm passionate They be like Vic you too smart to be rapping The fact that I'm smart is the reason I snap at it I got y'all hooked to the flow like a crack habit Life getting crazy a whole fucking pandemic I'm understanding that life is a bitch It's that bitch in the back and I made her look back at it Round of applause that's the way she be clapping it Make the D disappear like a magic trick Give her withdrawals every time she not having it Had to keep her in order like alphabet down